It's possible to skip some parts of this level using the morph pads, but complications arise later on. First, you can avoid the pounce mouse to reach the first switch, saving a good bit of time. For the second part, you can leap to a pounce nub to get around the slow moving platform. Make sure to switch back to stealth form mid jump. The complications come up here, where you can bypass the second switch and reach some pounce nubs. It's impossible to complete the level now. The fact you've made it this far really annoys me! The reason is that in breaking the sequence, Cass is not set up to deactivate this final switch in a cutscene. Watch how nothing happens after deactivating this switch. Damn you! Normally, Nevin is pushed off the platform and the switch is reactivated, changing the layout of these obstacles. Since nothing happened, the level is unbeatable. We can only restart. When the second switch is deactivated, it moves Kess to the other floating platform. I let you have that one. Just wait till you see what I've got in store for you. Since Kess never reached the floating platform previously, the scripting messes up and breaks the level. The fact you've made it this far really annoys me! Watch how the cutscene plays out now that Kess is in proper position. Damn you! Think you're clever? Try again, Shaper! This level sequence is too rigid to be skipped with the Morph Pounds, but there are some quick tricks. 